Hey everyone, How To Homemaker here. So my aunt took us out for pedicures and I thought what a good time to make some soulless sandals for my channel. <laughs> so here we are. I just wanted to show you guys quick that they look good in anything, not just summer gear. I have a couple different styles to show you. I have some fast motion videos so that you can see how I made these guys. And stay tuned to the end when I come back to show you some tips and tricks that I learned along the way so that you guys can have success your first time in creating. Enjoy the video! to make what you wear so I want you guys to personalize your own designs like I said in the intro so this is just the basics I want to throw a bunch of ideas at you and then you can go and get what you want to get this is the very first design and this is actually my favorite one it's just a piece of rope but it goes from the toe to directly to the back of the heel and you just put it on like that and you slip it around your toe and that is how you wear it and that's it and since I have it on my foot here like this this is how you find out what size it is, is that you have the strand, you've made your knot here for the toe, and then you have two loose strands, and you put them, you put your foot up in the air like that, point your toe, and then hold the two strands where you want the knot to go, and then just take it off your foot like that and make the knot there. Don't tighten it right away, because when you put it back on your foot, it probably will be either a little bit too loose or a little bit too tight and this knot is kind of crucial because when you have like when you're walking your foot makes that motion your that's the most extended your foot is going to be but then in the opposite direction it's like that and there's a lot of slack so if you have your foot exactly pointed like that with a little bit of a finger width to room to move when it comes like that, it should just sit right at the bottom of your heel. And this isn't so crucial because it's just a light rope, but if you have heavy beads on what you decide to make, this could be very bad because it'll slip off the back of your foot and be very frustrating. So that's how you make that to fit your foot. And again, it's just a string. This is my favorite one. <laughs> Funny how that works. But I have the other design here, which is goes around your toe, up your foot a little bit, and then around the back of your heel. With this design, the only two things that I have to say are make sure that whatever size of bead you get and whatever size of rope you get, that two widths of the rope can fit through the bead. Because as you can see, this is just one rope right here. It's actually wire, but whatever. One wire right here, and then you take the two ends of the wire and you put it through the very first bead like that, 
and you put it through all of those ones until you get to the end and then you split them off again and that's where you make your ankle and you fit this on your foot as you go i haven't figured out a way to say oh this is a size eight i you basically just fit this as you go it's the nicest way that it can look and most fail safe as well so that's my suggestion and I think I said, but you need a clasp for this one. You can't get away with just sliding it on your foot like the last design that I showed you. You need to purchase a clasp. You can go and, like if you have old, even old costume jewelry or if your kids have jewelry that they're not using anymore, you can just take the ends off and just use them as clasps. And make sure that they're comfortable. These are little barrel clasps. A little bit difficult to get on. I mean, not really, but you know, if it'd be easier if they were something just quicker. So think about that because you are going to be wearing these, they're on your foot, they are going to want to be comfortable because of socks and pants and things like that. You don't want extra rubbing. And then with the third design, speaking of extra rubbing, I initially wanted all four strands like this one and these four to be in this knot right here at the toe and I didn't even get to the point where I tightened the knot because the four strands together was a gigantic freaking knot right at your toe so I knew immediately that's not going to be comfortable so why not just take the knot down and then put the three strands through the next bead that's going to be a little bit lower on the foot and not at such a junction where it's going to be rubbing so that's what I have to suggest for that and there are many different designs out there. These are only three basic ones. And I don't know how much more complicated you could get. You could probably do a macrame weave. That would be really nice. Or do lots of little beads coming from the toe around to the back of the heel. There's so many different things that you could do. You could go check out any sort of craft store and see what kind of beads that they have there. So you can make one specially for your foot, not just generic beads, you know things like that or just use the rope. I, I just did this for the demonstration and I'm probably going to have a pair of these for the rest of my life now. <laughs> I really like them. So yeah, I'll wear them to the beach. I wear them with my indoor clothes. I don't wear them with my shoes, obviously, because that would be uncomfortable, but you can wear them anywhere you want. They look good with anything and just be creative, like I said, yeah. So with that being said, I'm gonna sign out. I'm the how-to homemaker, and don't forget, everybody in life makes mistakes, but what matters is what you do after. Bye, everyone.